Hello and a warm welcome to Ad House and it's a new month. We have so many exciting things lined up for you in this month of September. I'm Melinda Kinlami. Let's show you our lineup for today. The Brilliant Brush Gallery gives us a scent of Africa. Then in another part of the commercial city, we have this group exhibition by some young creatives. You'll see that and more after our wordsmith for this week. Our wordsmith for this week is titled Water. By Okpe Agbe, Okpe Yemi. Brown and dirty, but yet our hope. I often wondered, in my small mind, why ours was different. For school had taught me water. It was colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Yet, the water in the stream of my community was different. We bathed, cooked, and drank from it. Even when wells in neighboring communities dried up, it became our only source for thirst survival. Even the plastics, the grass on the water, they called them hyacinth, we ignored them all. Many a times, we found it difficult to pay to fill our empty kegs. We trekked the long distance. We carried our pots in its glory. But why didn't water drop in our taps? I often wondered why life was never easy in my community. No wonder everywhere smells in feces disgust. See, no taps, no water, no clean environment. This is the story of my community. In a week where the world celebrates water, we suffer water scarcity. Amazing words there. Thank you so much for sending that in. Now let's start off with this group exhibition by various artists who are bringing some fresh air to a gallery in Lagos. Carefully arranged works of art in a variety of shapes and sizes line up the entrance so the audience starts enjoying the view from the outdoors before they step in to see this exhibition, which was thoughtfully captured right from the title. The exhibition is uh, called, uh, titled Ascent of Africa, Ascent of Africa, and um, we carefully picked the um, title because we felt um, we want to promote African art, and I realized that there is still a challenge within the uh, Nigerian and African context in terms of the total appreciation of art. If we're talking about Africa, we're talking about colors, we're talking about beauties, we're talking about cultures. So, and we're talking about Africa, sense of Africa, it's just composing these things together. And there's no way you can make or visualize this thing together without bringing out the hearts, the crafts. You know, we have, like now, we have the Benin art, we have the Asian art, and all that. So, these are what we collect.
My interest in the art space is to encourage and promote art um, for everyone, for all Africans, because of the apathy I see uh, in it. And um, so that's been the approach we decided to adopt. The over 50 images on display is just revealing the potentials of the visual arts industry, which has not been entirely given its pride of place, especially with the quality and ingenuity artists produce daily. A scent is like a little of something, something that has potential to grow. And um, that's why we call the scent of Africa. It's African, but we're saying we're moving, we, want to th we think we want to move in the right direction as well. And take and drag as many people as we possibly can in that direction. And because there's, a bit of, there's still a bit of apathy with understanding of art, so you don't really want to push it in people's faces. It's like, you know, tease them into it. I have a lot of friends that I know that will come and tell you the history of every piece here and tell you things you cannot even see just by looking at the work, you know, because art is passion, art is life. And for those people that collect art, those people that appreciate art the way art should be appreciated, it is a, it's a different ball game entirely, I can assure you. From the veteran to contemporary and budding artists, the works of art capture different generations which appeal to the audience. I, I, love, the, um, I love the setting, first of all, and I love the quality of the art they're, they're exhibiting. I'm, 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 a, I'm, um, I'm a lover of art. And more importantly, I prefer um, some certain kinds of art. I look at the quality uh, because people invest in art. People invest in art for the future reasons. We have some artists here who are from, um, I think, Kenya. We have other ones from Rwanda, different parts, and, and some other Nigerian artists that have painted things in very unusual ways. I mean, very gifted artist we have here that's telling different stories from different perspectives. Wow, the talents are superb. The, 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 the standard of work of Nigerian artists is improving year in, year out. You really won't, okay, look at this one, the peacock and the uh, young man there. You know, whatever your taste in art, you'll find in the collection. I don't think there's a collection like this anywhere 
in Lagos. Um, I'm sure even the British Museum will be envious of the collection of art he has here. The brilliant brush gallery intends to keep showing the creativity that resides on the continents so more people can appreciate and value them. And not everyone has a platform to exhibit, but they also have our platform to exhibit. This is Art House on Facebook, and they are doing just that. Take a look at their works. These are the works of art you sent in this week. Let's begin with this one, which captures the new Yam Festival. This artist is saying that let's reduce evil and embrace love and happiness in our society. It's done with acrylic mixed media on canvas. Then Time Out is an oil on chipboard paperwork done by Chris Ogebo. Kessa Frida has flourished, done with mixed media. Then the two brothers is done by Adekunle with pen on paper. OK Gabriel has Sands of Time, is done with sand and adhesive on board. Ekundayo Timidayo has Eve, done with charcoal and pastel pencil on paper. Then Daniel Doji is celebrating the African Queen with this pencil and acrylic on paper piece. While this charcoal on glossy paperwork is done by Godwin Ejikeme, it's called Stomp. Money Searchers is a mixed media piece done by Sunday Adipoju. The Story of My Life, which is the first in the series, is an acrylic and oil on canvas piece done by Dominion Pedrochi. He says, in life, you just have to try and leave your footprints in the sands of time and touch the lives of others. Those are the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for sending them in and we encourage you to keep them coming. My artworks are fluid, flexible, lively and progressive in growth and creativity. Voices is a group exhibition at a gallery in Lagos. It features the works of art done by some young artists. Take a look. Fresh Voices is an exhibition which reveals the images done by a group of young artists within the society who are yet to be seen or heard exposing them to a breed of collectors yearning for something new, as well as giving this newbies a chance to be self-reliant. We all have a voice and people narrate their stories in different mediums. You are a journalist, you know, you create, write, you write and you tell your stories. I think artists tell their stories through you know, visual expressions through their paintings, through their drawings. 
and um, it's communication. So art is also communicating, and uh, this is, I wouldn't call it disruptive, but this is something fresh. You know, you can you see a lot of vibrant colors being used to um, express their art. The stories behind most of the works of art have really touched the heart of the audience as they bond with each one that catches their eye and try to unravel the message that lies within. It's truly admirable. Um, I'm just blown away by the talent. I think the stories behind a lot of this art has been really inspiring. Um, I think a lot of these artists are going to be big names in the future. It's been a thoroughly enjoyable day. The more time you spend um, with a piece of art, the more you understand the story behind it, right? So sometimes, I mean, I sp I've spent um, 30 minutes on some, you know, some of the pieces, you know, just trying to see, relate with some of the um, paintings. Sometimes I uh, try to identify with some of them, you know, so it's um, really inspiring, like I said. While the artists explain the concept behind the pieces they've created. Some of my paintings, they like the one, two, three, is a series that talks about my experience during the lockdown. Because during the lockdown, I was depressed. So the first one was the first one showed how I was depressed, and the second one, which is um, the are titled "Blinded No More." The second one talked about how my during the East lockdown, my nephew did his birthday, and then my niece brought some balloons to my rooms, and she only to her she left some of the balloons in my room. So those few balloons, she left the green balloons, she left the orange balloon, and then the white balloons in my room. Then. I don't know, I, I think I damaged the green balloons. That's why you can see the work has more of green. five couple of works right behind me. One of them is Lockdown Dialogue, which actually talks about uh, the social, economical, and impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, which caught us in grief, that resulted in uh, total lockdown by the deadly virus. So while well, I try to portray the using um, texturized materials, it talks about two beautiful, elegant women, African women, having dinner, uh, breakfast, and having a discussion concerning what is really happening of, about insecurity, and you know, during it, it also resulted to the protests that happened recently, and um, that really caused so many chaos, you know, and loss of lives as well. I'm showing a couple of my works here, and this particular one is titled Soul Sisters, talking about the concept of dualities. And in, in Yoruba land, duality comes in form of a twin, which we call as, it's a god in Yoruba land called Orisha Ibeji. And it's also telling a story about two worlds coming to the same world at the same times, even when they're having different personalities. 
like this painting you have here, there are two sisters having different personalities, different auras, and the way they perceive the world and their environment. My works basically speak about what has happened, especially during the pandemic, and even what is still currently going on. I'm actually exhibiting five of my works. I have uh, the first work, Wet Nests, is a series, but I'm exhibiting just one of the series, Wet Nest 2, and also I'm exhibiting Blue Scarf, I'm exhibiting Covered, Solace, then Yellow Butterfly. Behind me is Yellow Butterfly, which is a piece that documents the transformation that occurs in the life of an African maiden that despite the hurdles, the hardness of the society, they still somehow find a way to be happy and to adorn themselves. And just like the butterfly that goes through series of changes, that is the same way an African lady goes through changes. My works here are titled Extraordinary Woman, so I have, it's in series, so I have the series one and two. So the reason for me making, creating this particular piece, this Extraordinary Woman, is because it talks about my mom. My mom, like the strength she has been giving me and she makes me realize how strong I am. Like a lady, you have to be this, you have to be that. She has always been there for me. So it's talking about women entirely, how strong women are. The young mind is full of all sorts of ideas. That's what these creatives have channeled positively through their various media and revealed in this exhibition at the Adeline Gallery. And let's just give you a dose of what to look forward to the next time you tune in to Art House. Next week on Art House, artists turn waste to wealth at this exhibition at the Thought Pyramid Art Center in Lagos. Then in Oshu State, we enjoy this solo show by Olani Sunday called Osaga City. See that and more on Art House next time. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's Art House today. Thank you so much for taking this ride with us as we look forward to seeing you next time. But do remember that you can play catch up on any of our platforms, especially our YouTube page, where you can see this and other episodes of the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami, encouraging you to stay safe and keep being creative. <laughs>